going to be our dessert at the Berry Fest feast tomorrow. Look out! <laughs> Whoa! Are you all right, Berry Kim Blue? Uh, uh, yes, uh, thank you, Miss Shortcake. Uh, had a little stumble, took a little tumble, as I was looking for... <sighs> but you found it. My, 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 yes, yes, yes. A fine specimen this year. About the biggest I've ever seen. Oh, the color so rich. The shape just so... The texture. Oh, amazing. Oh, and the aroma. Oh, yes. Perfect in every way. Oh, Custard, no. Yes, Pat, we must take care. There is but one of these delicious, nutritious berries at any given time. And how fitting that you, our new Berry Fest princess, should have found it. Found it? Found it? Who found it? Strawberry! Strawberry found it! <laughs> Look at it! Isn't it something? Unbelievable! It's incredible! Now, now, you know the tradition. It's the Berry Fest Princess who plucks the berry. Oh, I knew that. Didn't you know that? I wanted yeah, to see yeah, if you yeah, should. Yeah. Yeah. Princess Strawberry? I'd be honored. Mm. Oh, harder! You can do it! Come on, uh, Strawberry! Give it a good shake! Oh, that's it! Uh. Uh. <laughs> 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 oh, look! There it goes! At this moment, a new Wanderberry is springing up somewhere. Could it be here, or there, or there? We never ever know quite where. This thing's pretty heavy. It's gonna take all of us working together to get it back. Is everyone ready? Ready! <gasps> Lemon! Oh, she's going to love this! 1,001 ways to keep your books organized. <laughs> this is gonna be the best first brush gift ever. A whole chapter on how to stack books vertically. 10 chapters on how to reorganize your books after they've fallen off a shelf. <sighs> no, no, no. I have to give this gift to Lemon. <laughs> it's her gift. <laughs> Don't let anyone see you. Don't let anyone see you. <laughs> so, I was thinking maybe <gasps> a green stripe would look better. Shh! Did you hear something? Uh, no. Oh, I thought I heard something. Yeah. What 
secret gift I get. Though it can't be nearly as great as the one I gave Lemon. Oh, I wonder what it is! Wow, a book! A book about... Organizing books? Chapter 72. Big books and little books together on one shelf? Not as impossible as it seems? Oh, what am I going to do with this? But it is the biggest first frost gift ever. I got it! This is the perfect secret gift for my secret giftee. Plum! Yeah. She's gonna... Go get it. Go get it, Marmalade. Fetch the ball. Good girl. Now, bring it back. That's it. Bring it back. Oh, not again. No, Marmalade. Marmalade? Another ball, huh? I've been trying to teach you to fetch, not hide. We're running out of balls. Now this time, bring it back, okay? Oh, uh. Bring it back, bring it back, Marmalade, to me. Bring it here, to me. To me? Good girl, good girl. <laughs> going with that. Oh. Uh -huh. Morning, Orange. Oh, hi. What's wrong? Oh, Cherry. I've been trying all morning to teach Marmalade to fetch balls, but all she does is run off with them. I don't know where she goes, but when she comes back, the balls are gone. Huh? <laughs> There you are. Where have you been? This is our last ball. Cinepup knows how to fetch. Maybe if she showed Marmalade how. Oh, that's a great idea, Cherry. Worth a try. Cinepup! Wanna play fetch the ball? Huh? Fetch the ball? Go get it, girl! Hey! Marmalade! That isn't polite! Oh. Marmalade? Where did you go? Marmalade! Oh, what has gotten into that puppy? Where does she go? You know, Strawberry helped me teach Cinepup how to fetch. Maybe if you asked her, she could help you with marmalade. I'll take her to see Strawberry. Soon as she comes back, that is. Marmalade! <laughs> oh! <laughs> see what I mean? Come on, you. We're going to visit Strawberry. Yes! I love you, too. Come on. Want to see Strawberry? Let's go see Strawberry. What's the matter? You two are the fashion experts of Berry Bitty City. You definitely have to enter. We know fashion, but technology is not our area of expertise. Now, wait. So what if you're techno newbies? I just read a book that says when you're a beginner, anything's possible because you don't know what's impossible. It says right here, above all, you must keep your windows of creativity open. Whoa. <gasps> I think the windows are opening. Where? 
No! My windows of creativity! I have an idea! Oh, come on, Raspberry! Thanks, Blue! I hope you're okay. What if they're somewhere where we can't find them? How could they be lost? They know their way around. But maybe they're terribly lost. <gasps> maybe just too tired to come home. But they'll be back tomorrow. What if they're trapped somewhere? I don't think that's likely. Oh, I miss them so much. Could they have run away? Strawberry? Are you just the night air? Uh, making me sniffle. <laughs> oh, Strawberry, you must be so worried. And all we've been talking about is how worried we are. You poor thing. You love those pets so much. I didn't want to make everyone upset, but... I'm just so scared I won't find them. And and maybe they did run away. You see, they wanted me to play with them. But I was too busy. Oh, I was silly to say that. They would never run away. Not with someone like you taking care of them. They know how much you love them, and they love you. Don't you worry, Strawberry. We will find them no matter what. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> I'm so glad you all came to look with me. Quick, run! <laughs> run for your lives! Uh, what are we running from? It! We heard it coming from underground! We heard weird noises underground, too! Wait a minute! Underground! What if that's why the pets didn't come home? What do you mean, Strawberry? Well, all of us have searched everywhere from above. <gasps> and if the pets were underground and didn't know what time of day it was... They might lose track of time? Exactly! Mr. Longface, Berry can bloom. Where did you hear the noises? <laughs> Back there. Custard? my secret giftee, Mr. Longface. Something he would really, really like. <laughs> Thanks, Pupcake. And then it hit me. A plant for the entrance to his croquet club. And I know just the perfect plant. Oh, oops. Oh, 
almost forgot my rope. <laughs> wow! That's the most ginormous first frost gift I've ever seen. I knew that was a good choice for Plum. Oh, nice. A book. Chapter 137, Sorting Your Encyclopedias. The A to Z of how to and how not to. Hmm. Maybe not exactly the most must-have gift I've ever received for First Frost. I know. My secret gifty Orange likes to sort things. I bet she'd love this. <gasps> oh, yes, yes. Indeed, yes. It is getting chilly these days, Miss Jadybug. Uh, you know, I have an extra hat you could borrow. Very warm. Hello? Well, hello! <laughs> Aren't you the most wonderfully oversized first frost gift? Grab and move. Grab and move. Here it is! Mr. Longface will be thrilled when he sees his gift. And I'm gonna get it for him. Ugh. No matter what. Ta-da! Raspberry will love a gift uh, this big. She could use it as a footstool when she sews. Or to hide a refrigerator. I did it! Oh, Mr. Longface is gonna love you, little plant. Huh? 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 Phew! Oh, muffin crumbs. Oh, hibiscus always makes my nose itch. better tell me now. So you want me to be your model in this technology and fashion contest with a video camera in my hair? Exactly! Here, look! You'll be wearing a hair cam that Lemon will make! And a special skirt that Raspberry will make! A skirt that's also a video screen! Whatever the hair cam films, the video screen shows! And what the hair cam films will be you, 
demonstrating your favorite recipe using the high-tech gadgets in your kitchen. Wow, that's the wildest tech fashion idea I've ever heard of. You should definitely go with it. <laughs> but I just don't see how I'm going to have time to be your model. I wouldn't even have time to come to the fittings. Uh, not when I'm running two businesses at the same time. Okay, Raspberry, what do you think? I would not estimate that they would come this far. I don't recognize this area. It's not even on the map I printed out. And there's no path. Oh, I've just got to look everywhere. They have to be somewhere. Let's head out a little farther. I certainly wouldn't want to get lost out here in this rainy weather like they might be. Lost? My pets? I know. I read in a story about two kids who made a trail of breadcrumbs so that they could find their way home. Oh, I know that story. Um, doesn't, um, the breadcrumb trail get eaten? But no one will eat this. You are clever, Blueberry. Come on, now we won't get lost. Hi, Blueberry. Come back to let me finish your hair? Um, no, Lemon. Uh, I know this is supposed to be secret, but I need to give this gift to you in person and explain why. But what for? It's for First Frost. But, uh, uh, I already got a secret gift. I know, I gave it to you. But it wasn't a secret gift that you would like. It was something I would like. So, here's a secret gift I think you'll like. Oh, Blueberry! The very big book of bountiful braiding! Just what I always wanted! That's the perfect first frost gift for me! Uh-oh. Uh-oh what? Uh-oh, I just realized I didn't give Plum the perfect first frost gift. I just gave her the book you gave me. I know. Sorry, Blueberry. Wait! I have just the thing for Plum. <laughs> you wouldn't like it as much as the very big book on book sorting. This gift is even better because it shows me that you really thought about what I like, something only a friend would know. Hi! Hey, Lemon! Raspberry, could you take the morning shift? At the cafe today? I need to turn off my phone and focus on my design. T-T-Y-L and send. <sighs> That's what you get when you skip breakfast. Oh, muffin crumbs. Forgot to pack breakfast. Hey, strawberries! Oh, not ripe. There's gotta be a ripe one around here somewhere. <laughs>
Wait, what are you doing here? Didn't you get my text? No, didn't you get my text? Flying Waffles, the cafe! On your mark. Get set. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Marmalade, no! That's not a toy. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to teach her. <laughs> That's okay. Ready? On your mark. Get set. Go! to the lake. Well, how? I can't see where we're going. <sighs> Look down, Earl. What do you see? My feet. And what else? Your feet. Uh, what else, Earl? Rocks? Right! Rocks! When we get to the lake, we'll look down and see lake! <laughs> is working. Oh, I'm sorry, Blueberry. It's not the exercise, it's me. I'm just in a bad mood. Uh, maybe you better continue without me. Oh, Lemon, don't give up. Everyone gets moody from time to time. <gasps> moody! That's it! I'll do mood nails instead of a hair cam! I'll design nails that change color depending on your mood! Yay! Great idea, Lemon! But then, what'll we show on your video screen skirt? I don't know. Could we pre-record something cool and screen that on the skirt? Then it wouldn't have to be live. You know, we wouldn't need a hair cam. Bells and berries, that's it! Do you have any friend fragrance? Um, I mean, scents that bring friendship, harmony, a little peace? I recommend... Lemon, Verbena, and Skittermint. Thanks! Just in case. <laughs> to share a few of my most pleasant memories of our beloved Princess Barrican, a princess who reigns with grace and wisdom. We all remember Sour. when... Sour! Something's burning! <gasps> my cakes! <sighs> oh, great! I'm so 
sorry, Sour. Can I help you make some new ones? Oh, so you can take credit for them, huh? What? Oh, no. Or maybe slip some vinegar into the mix so they'll think your cakes are better than mine. Oh, you're talking nonsense. I'm talking deceit, sweet. Underhanded kitchen tricks from my own sister. <gasps> You almost hit me. It was an accident. An accident? I don't believe you. Huh. Well, that was. But this isn't. Ah! <gasps> uh, my apron. My apron that you stole. Oh, really? 